Yeah. Stuff like that. On certain stages. Yeah. Yeah. Up next, we got Pinball Wizard and Ray. Pinball Wizard and Ray, Ray back. And, uh... I don't think we've seen Pinball Wizard on stream at all, so it'll be interesting to see what character he chooses. I've seen him play a couple. I've seen a Robin, I've seen a Samus, so I think he's more... A lot of Robins. Yeah. Ray going trusty, uh, trusty Marth. Yeah. I mean, last time I, play, last time I played him a bit, he played, uh, Zero Suit. Yeah, I think he's, I think he's sticking with, uh, with, uh, Marth at this point. Right. At least right. from my experience. I'd say his Marth is probably his strongest character. I definitely, I definitely say that too. He's got a very good Marth. It definitely shows promise. He's no Pug West yet. But... <laughs> he's, he's getting there. He's getting there. It's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of effort. But, I mean, in the end, it's worth it. Yeah. I'd say. I mean, I'm scr I'm scrub king. I mean Shulk. I mean, I mean him since like. Well, he, Shulk's got some, Shulk's got stuff. He's got stuff, but it's an up, it's an uphill battle. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I used to play Zelda in melee. Zelda was fun. But oh, we got uh, Mike. We got a Fire Emblem battle right here. So much Fire Emblem, but no Roy. It's just sad. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, you really have to watch out for, uh, for Ike's counter. Ike is like a really strong character. I mean, I played, I played him black and please don't laugh, Brawl. But he's he had a lot of stuff in Brawl too. Like this basic, this basic three hit, pretty much. Uh, Ike was a solid like character. Some, yeah. in Brawl. It's just there were a lot of other characters that just you really didn't need to like bother with other characters besides like the top tiers in Brawl. Oh yeah, like meta, this like Meta Knight and that kind of. Stuff. Snake, that kind of stuff. Because, like, Meta Knight shut down, like, most of the cats. Then you had Ice Climbers who could just chain grab everyone. Then there's Pikachu who had, like, quick attack canceling all over the place, and his frame data was really good. You Diddy had... Kong had bananas. So... Yeah. And then Snake had. And Snake had the, uh, the, sli the sliding Claymore. Yeah. And then there's Falco who just, like, shut down any type. He was, like, a zoner and, like, zone breaker at the same time because of the fact that. He had like such good frame data, had a really quick down air. Then if you wanted to camp you, you could camp you with lasers, and then if you approached him, he could just side beat away, or he could just grab you and chain grab you for like 40%. Ooh. Yeah, Pimble always had to cancel that out rupture really quickly really just taking some good damage. Pretty close game though. Yeah. Ooh. It was a I good it was a good attempt at the counter, just a little too uh, yeah. early. Oh, he was working on up smash instead. Ooh, I'm surprised I haven't Both seen even that. even at 102. Ooh, that is dangerous. Try it, try it. That is dangerous. And yes, I do. You almost had that read. This, this is an anime battle. What did you say? <laughs> Eruption is really oh. good. I was about to say that. Eruption is a very good edge guarding tool because like the hitbox lingers below the ledge. So you can kind of catch you can catch the two frames very easily if you time it right. Oh yeah. Or you can just outright hit them even before they snap ledge. It's one of those moves where like if you see Ike charging eruption, well, you're better off recovering as soon as possible so that yeah. way he doesn't get as much charge. It's either that or recover as low as possible so you kind of force him to let it go sooner or risk taking recoil. Yeah. But then sometimes Ike players can just like eat the recoil damage if, it, if it's going to guarantee Yeah, if, it, if, it's low, if it's low enough, I see eat the recoil. Like if you're at like 30, like 30, 40, eat the eat the recoil. But like, well, I mean, even if you are at kill percent, because you know, I mean, you're not gonna die for it. And if you can guarantee the stock, then you might as well go for it. Ooh, yeah. That was a good up smash because even if he did counter, it probably wouldn't have hit him because of the platform. Yeah. I think Ray really has to. Uh... Oh. Yeah. 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 Get, get a little bit higher. Honestly. And because, like, Marth gets iframes uh, or invincibility frames on his upbeat on, like, frame one, but the hitbox doesn't come out to, like, frame five, but the iframes don't last until the top of it. So, like, it doesn't really matter if he has iframes or not, unless he does it, like, super close to, like, 
when he recovers. Oh, okay. But a pretty close game. Game two, town and city. A little change, a little change of pace here. Uh, questionable pick given the higher ceiling. Well, the higher ceiling will actually help Mike kill, but at the same time, I can kind of see it because then Marth doesn't really have to worry too much about uh for the platform layout. He actually has a platform to recover to. Yeah. And as we as we've seen during one of these games, actually, uh, Ooh, that was pla nice. platform do really help with recovery because uh, I believe it was Lou who was off who was off stage well, against your in your match actually he was off stage recovering with the with the platform here. Well, I don't know if he had to do. I question if that was supposed to be a forward smash or if that was supposed to be an up smash. Well, we may never know. I do notice is that uh, a lot of rolls instead. There are a lot of rolls happening, which could uh, potentially get him killed for it. Ah, uh, like that. Unfortunately, he didn't snap ledge. Yeah. Which I mean, I can understand why he didn't snap ledge, given the, the previous times that he was caught with eruption. Uh, ooh, good tipper. Like Ike was closer to the stage, so what he tried to do was up me and hold down so that way the hitbox would hit Ike. Right. Instead of him snapping ledge and not hitting him with it. Nice. It was a good uh, good attempt at spacing, just a little slipped out of his. An attempt was an attempt was made. Oh, nice counter. Be. Nope, I still has recovery. I believe he might have kept his jump. No, you with quick draw you don't keep jumping. Well no, well, no, I meant like what upbeat. Ah. Uh, because he got, he got countered out of upbeat, and then he was able to jump back. Yeah, side side B, you don't keep jump. Well, you do. Get, you are able to. Well, if you hit confirm someone, you do get to jump. Ah. Uh, but if it's if it whips or in special fall. Yeah. And that's the one thing about Ike's counter. It's a good counter, but it hits very low, as opposed to like Marth's. Ooh, like nice. Ike, like Ike's and Roy's counter hit very below the belt. Whereas uh, Martha and Lucina's, they just hit outright. That's rough. No, no, no. should have it. But it's still, that's, that's good. 1-1. One, one. Well, I mean, I kind of... I, I would say, oh yes, counter would have been the good thing. But if but if he had read that properly and kept charging, he could have let Marth counter and then hit him afterwards. Right. So I, I would probably say that he, he did pick the right option in going and crossing up Ike. That way here, he had nothing to do with, with, with eruption at all. And he, he could just get a clean punish either way. Yeah, clean tip, a clean tip. All right, now FD now. Hmm. Uh, this is probably going to be a lot harder for Mark. Yeah, he doesn't really have many uh, vertical options I mean, here. he was winning uh, a lot of the neutral in uh, interactions for the most part. It's just the ledge game is where I think Mark suffers versus Ike. Yeah. Because of simply because of the way Ike can edge guard is a little bit stronger, at least versus Mark. Other matchups. It's debatable. I'd probably say that Marth is better at overall at edge guarding. Uh, Just in this, this, this uh, specific matchup, that uh, I say Ike has the upper hand. Just in the style that he edge guards. But at the same time, uh, FD co does come with its own uh, perks. Given that you can slide up to the side of the ledge and not really have to worry too much about getting caught by eruption, unless he specifically times the two for him. Yeah. Instead of just outright getting hit by it. But so far, pretty close. I haven't seen any a lot of aerial moves from uh, Pimbo is. I Ooh, that was a good upbeat. I would say the Ike's uh, the Ike's uh, Nair and Bear are really good in this situation too. Like, so well, like short hop, short hop. Uh, the thing about it is, is that Mars aerials generally come out faster than Ike's, so you kind of have to throw them out a little bit ahead of time if you were to do this. Yeah, it's because when I usually play Ike, I usually just do it like in a way of a. Uh, Keep them out of range. Yeah. Like I keep I keep them at bay with it. But I feel like Mark wins the the air to air battle. It's mainly the ground game that I feel like Ike has over Marth, simply because of Ike's jab. Yeah. But that was a good counter. That was that's pretty much an obvious counter, honestly. With that one, really, because he didn't snap the ledge. If he had let that go just a little bit sooner, he would have actually caught the ledge. Yeah. Always getting Connor happy, he cannot do that. 
That and I'd say Ike overall, he, he runs slower, but I'd say he actually has more mobility than Mars simply because of quick draw and the way that you can cancel it with uh, with minimal lag. Well, not necessarily cancel it, but you can utilize the move without much lag even, uh, if you uh, perform the move at a certain height in the air. Okay. I've seen Ike's like Waldo and Sam utilize side B a lot as movement options, especially for like recovery purposes, where they'll use it very high up and like be able to cancel it, have like little to no lag, and retaliate if someone's not uh, able to punch up. No, I can fit, I can seventy one percent. Uh, very nice, uh, very nice counter counter bait right there. That was good spacing. Yeah. He he rolled that and he rolled back knowing that even if he fully charged it, he wouldn't have went far enough to actually get him at the ledge. That was, that was close. Yeah, you see Ray there trying to uh, turn to dissipate the, uh, the eruption. Yeah. And he was actually put in a really good spot because... Well, he was actually able to recover fairly easily thanks to the shield breaker because I uh, can't really just recklessly run up to the ledge. Ike's off stage. Oh, that was a good side B. Yeah. Oh, nice counter. And see, that's the, that, that's one of the, the advantages I would kind of say, or I well, I shouldn't say advantage, but it's one of the unique traits between like counters like Roy and uh, oh. and, and Ike is that their counters actually come out later, but as a result, oh, the stage spike. Uh, as a result, their counters last somewhat long. They appear to last longer when they actually just come out later. So that's kind of why he was able to get that hit with the counter. Right. But definitely a really close set. Very good set. I'd say that that's uh, great. It's real two one, and that means Pixel Punk. It's gonna be Pixel Punk and uh, Ray. Delta. Oh, that's you instead. Anyway, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Always a pleasure to have. Always a pleasure to have you. We always have bi-weeklies. Right now we're doing our Smash One Next One. We're, huh? Smash One Next One? No, not Smash One Next One. Next one's gonna be the Star Street Fighter Five one. Oh right. The, Aren't we doing Guilty Gear as well? Street and Guilty I Gear. It was a mix. Huh? I thought it was gonna be a mix this time. I mean, granted, like Street Fighter has more hype to it now again, once with, all, with a huge update. But it's Guilty Gear. You can't go wrong with Guilty Gear. You can't either. Yeah, I was in we're, say, we're, say, we're saying Guilty Gear, guys. Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear. Anime battle. That's what it is. <laughs> no, that was, uh... Oh, that, yeah, the... Ike. Ike. Yeah. What? Well, it's the same thing with Guilty Gear. Yeah. It's, it's a metal. So anyway... Matchup that's... The Clash of the Titans, as it usually a always classic is. classic match. You cannot go wrong with this match. We got DJ Delta as Luigi and... And going in hard at the start right here. Craft is a Sonic. Already at 70. Yeah. As Luigi can, can do. You can just do it. He, he can. Try to go for the super uppercut, but nothing doing there. And it sounds like a thunderstorm outside. It is a thunderstorm outside. Oh, whoa. Whoa. I, it's a good thing I did not keep my windows open. Back to the match. 79% <laughs> Sonic, 33% Luigi. Uh, Craft is catching up now. Oh, oh, oh. Man. I thought that was gonna be a double KO. I thought it was gonna be a DBZ. Oh. So, I don't care about the NATO. Oh, oh. but yeah, I care about that up smash. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Usually at seventeen percent. Three four thirty two up. Pretty even so pretty even so far. Nope. Looks like they got delivery. If, if they did, they probably the water. They probably would be in big biz because of you. Oh. Hey, nope. Chris. More, more, so Chris. More you. You're the one. That, you're the one who loves the chicken. I love the chicken, but I haven't been there in a while. Not sponsored by Pumpkin. <laughs> oh, oh, and the backer closes it out. That was clean. That was very clean. That yeah, was pretty late. Like, back and forth match. No, I mean like the kill. Oh yeah, the, the kill was, but I'm saying the whole match overall was pretty clean. Oh yeah. 
It's like back throwing back throwing the back air. I'm like, you don't really see that much. Plus the first kill uh Kraft just got off the off the top was like nuts. I was like, which one died? While that crew is tilting battlefield. Alright now so we got games game two up back up one. And Kraftus is off to a commanding start. Oh. He could have done something more there. He could have done something more. <coughs> and after Delta, he really shouldn't have uh, recovered that high. Oh, look at a lot of, a lot of moves. I think it's because he's like either expecting to jump. Sonic is Sonic is on the ground right now. He doesn't, he doesn't want to jump because he knows the skies are uh, Luigi's domain. 